G'day. These are three of my 6502 systems. On the end here is my Apple 2 Plus clone. And next to it is my Acon Electron. And over here is my oldest machine, which I've had since I was 15 years old. And it was purchased brand new. I ordered it in 1979 and it turned up in early 1980. It's an Ohio Superboard 2 and it's probably my favourite machine in my whole collection. Um, and what I've done today, we've just keyed in Noel's Retro Labs uh, little basic uh, benchmark utility. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and run this on all three machines and we're just going to find out who actually is the fastest. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to really quickly go enter, enter, enter. Okay. Okay, at the moment it's neck and neck. Okay, and... 14 seconds. Okay, 21 seconds. Okay, that's the electron. Okay, and I think the superboard is, uh, yes, there's the superboard. Okay, and there we go, and there's the apple, the apple two. Okay, so it took uh, 31 seconds for the electron to run. It took uh, 36 seconds for the superboard to execute the basic program. And it took uh, 40 seconds for the Apple II Plus clone. Um, it's not a very scientific uh, benchmark, um, especially if uh, there's a slight delay between me hitting the enter key and uh, yeah, all these little delays add up. But it was also quite interesting. Um, the Electron, which runs at 2 megahertz, was nowhere near twice as fast because it is quite crippled with its memory architecture and the ALU, uh, which uh, the memory has to run through before it gets to the processor so it doesn't have direct access. Um, okay, well, yeah, the Apple II did quite well, but the... Uh, Superboard was certainly no slouch, and it was not a bad effort. Okay, well, this wasn't really that useful, but it was a bit of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.